uh, developing, in fact, uh, your uh, your concepts to uh, to uh, to the I don't know to the, the, the thematic or the or the problems or whatsoever the life situations uh, which uh, your clients uh, encounter. I think I, I I think that this is the really the basic point to start with. And I think also we I, I was there this morning in this first uh, first workshop. I think that uh, that is also a very important thing that all those quality assurance uh, systems they, they have already integrated in themselves uh, such such a set of values. So when talking about uh, establishing individual plans with clients and so on and so on, uh, behind that is a certain uh, way of conceiving society. And I think that is a very important part uh, also in reflecting uh, this uh, when adopting such, uh, such instruments. Uh, I think that, that the, the institution has to be clear about that. Uh, so this, the, all those instruments, they are clearly not neutral, uh, seen from a value perspective. Okay, thank you very much, Bill. We have time for a last question. Yes, Peter. Last maybe reflection, uh, maybe it would be more controversial. Maybe it's not so good to end up with uh, such a controversial because we are talking together that, uh, and we could have an impression that everybody cares about the quality. And uh, when I look at, at my country, Poland, and uh, how the services are contracted, sometimes I have a, an impression that mainly the service providers are caring and uh, trying to improve quality rather than uh, public sector organizations. And basically, when I see how uh, local government contract the services, the reality is that the price is the most important thing. Of course, quality, of the, it, it, is, it is the next step. I completely understand that the rules uh, accept or promote quality, that it doesn't necessarily price is the uh, high priority uh, in, in contracting the services. But my reality is that uh, at the final stage, when local government is decided which services will be financed, the price is uh, most important thing. And, and it makes me, uh, in, and it makes me uh, go to the conclusion that Sometimes our governments, regional, local governments, are much, much more restrict than EU allows us. And uh, this is very, this is very uh, difficult situation for many, many NGOs. And <clears throat> the, the, sec the second thing is also we have to remember that, for example, in Poland, many NGOs use public money and, for example, ESF uh, money. And they are also obliged to use uh, competition rules, which sometimes transform NGOs into the public sector institutions, which is not the good uh, 